Event organizers for the Rugby Sevens competition tried to make it fun. Well, cool, the ball-carrying robot car is a matter of function. Olympic organizers are trying to ensure qualifying events, which only restarted this month, are COVID secure. Limited ball handling for non-players, gloves for everyone else, and loads of disinfectant. The Tokyo 2020 president says with a third state of emergency in place, we need to take even stronger COVID-19 countermeasures than even before. Despite the public not being allowed to participate and no cheering or singing, a police officer involved in the torch relay tested positive for COVID-19. It's the first case linked to the event so far, but infections across the country are rising. On Friday, Japan's prime minister outlined the state of emergency, describing it as short-term, intense and powerful. The surge in cases isn't as bad as what's occurring in Canada, for example, but health systems in Japan are under pressure. As people in Tokyo once again ask how the games can go ahead given the current situation, Canadians are training. Cyclist Haley Smith spoke to Global News about the challenges posed by the pandemic on these games before leaving for a qualifying event in Europe. I think I go through waves where I'm able to accept that reality and focus on what I can control, which is just my daily efforts on the bike and in the gym and in terms of recovery. That focus and desire to compete is present for all athletes. You know, we're confident in, um, in the ability to, to take a, a team to the games. We're confident in the ability of the organizing committee. So for now, the world is getting ready for the Olympics, despite a resurgence of the virus and stricter measures to curb its spread in Japan. Crystal Gamansing, Global News, London.